Hello, and welcome to the Inna Craft Education Center. Like any tool, keeping your sprayer clean and in good condition is an essential part of ownership. In this video, I'll show you how to clean your sprayer using buckets. This is a good method, but if you have access to a garden hose and want an even faster way, check out the video on how to clean your sprayer with a flushies valve. If you plan to exceed using the sprayer within two days, you just need to engage the gun trigger lock and unplug the power cord. Leave the suction tube and drain tube in the paint pail and cover the paint pail tightly with plastic wrap. Before cleaning your sprayer, always perform the pressure relief procedure. To do this, turn the power off, engage the gun trigger lock, turn the pressure control knob to the lowest setting, turn the prime spray valve into prime, hold the metal part of the gun firmly to a grounded metal pail, Disengage the gun trigger lock and trigger the gun to relieve pressure. Engage the gun trigger lock again. With the pressure relief procedure complete, we'll go ahead to clean the pump. To do this, lift the suction tube and drain tube from the paint pail. Let paint drain into the pail. Separate the tubes and place the suction tube in the flushing fluid pail. Place drain tube in the waste pail. Turn the prime spray valve to prime. Turn the pressure control knob to the clean. Turn the power on, slowly turn the pressure control up until you see a paint water mixture come out of the drain tube. Allow the water or flushing fluid to circulate until the fluid coming out of the drain tube is relatively clear. Maybe 20 seconds or so. Turn down the pressure control. Power off the sprayer. When you finish a spray project, there will still be some paint in the hose. So the next step of cleaning is to recover as much paint as we can. To do this, Disengage the gun trigger lock. With the gun pointed into the paint bucket, pull the trigger. Turn the prime spray valve to the spray position. Rotate the spray tip to the unclogged position. Turn the power switch on. While continuing to hold the gun trigger, increase the pressure to the clean position. Do this until you see paint diluted with water or flushing fluid coming out of the gun. Then immediately redirect the gun into the waste pail until the water is clear. This usually takes around 1 to 2 gallons of water. Turn the pressure control knob to the lowest. Engage the trigger lock. Turn the prime spray valve to the prime position. Turn the power off. Prior to storage, it is necessary to clean the spray gun and its various parts. Remember to wear safety gloves to avoid scratches. To do this, remove the spray tip guard assembly, the gun handle, and gun filter clean all parts in warm soapy water or flushing fluid using a bristle brush. Inspect all parts for any damage before reassembling all parts to get ready for the next use. Ensure the gun handle is tightened securely when reinstall all parts back. It's very important after every use that you run some light household oil into the pump for your sprayer to help prevent freezing and corrosion. To do this, unscrew the inlet screen from the suction tube if needed. Place the drain tube in the waste pail. Turn the pressure control knob to the clean position. Turn from spray valve to prime position while holding the suction tube above the sprayer. Pour approximately two ounces of storage fluid into the suction tube. Turn the power switch on. When oil is flushed through the suction tube and out the drain tube, turn power switch off. To keep the fluid from draining out of the drain tube, turn spray prime valve to spray position. Unplug the power cord by properly cleaning your sprayer and storing it in a safe, dry place. Your InnaCraft sprayer will be ready for your next project. Thanks for watching InnaCraft Education Center and happy spraying. We are always here to help.